Elaine is starting her historic swim. She is doing what no human being has ever done. She's swimming the entire length of Lake Pend Oreille from the southernmost tip of the lake, swimming north all the way to Sandpoint City Beach. Elaine's an incredible swimmer. What she's doing, I'm guessing she's one of the top 100 marathon swimmers in the world. For as organized as we were, these swims always reveal uh, the flaw in the plan or the thing you've missed. And everything was going along fine. Okay, she's in the water, she's going along, she's looking okay. And then the music stops, the lights go out. So then there's this procession of backwards and forwards from the front to the back of the boat. The engine's exposed. So at that point, I'm beginning to think this could jeopardize the swim. Fortunately, we had the Zodiac. If we hadn't had the Zodiac, I don't think the swim would have been completed. There's three feedings. There's an electrolyte bar for Randy, and I think you better take this. And then Sonny called Bruce. This is at 3 a.m. Uh, this is Sonny on the boat, and we have lost power. And our kayaker and the swimmer, and Elaine and another swimmer, Andrew, have gone on and we're wondering if you might be able to come out and help us. We're looking for Elaine. We know she's out here swimming. We had some boat trouble. Do we know where we are? Where we're at Granite. At Granite. We're somewhere near Granite. Thank you. We got more food in a bag here. Trying to make hay with the flat water. Is there any chance he could see us? Luckily, Bruce is woken up, gets in his boat, and comes to find us. So just pull the trigger on this thing if you see me close. And then fortunately, Val managed to fix the boat. You are the first radio station that we are calling. A houseboat was able to be repaired, fixed. If it continues the way it's going now, she's going to be successful and this will go down the record books. You know, I mean, in marathon swimming, you know, you need a first. You need to be the first to do something. And there's lots of water on the planet, so there's lots of firsts left. But I thought, you know what, this could be mine. I could, I could do this one first. And then that's a record that nobody's going to break. I mean, yeah, somebody will certainly swim it faster someday. But I'll still have been the first one to do it. So as the sun was coming up, it was this incredible, you know, vista. I'm swimming along and I'm thinking, wow, I'm really lucky that I get to swim into a sunrise like this. I just can't get over how welcoming and wonderfully hospitable the whole Sandpoint region has been to me. I mean, people, are, I'm convinced that the nicest people in the world live here. Coming up and having this hero's welcome, um, being put down in this chair like some queen, and then these children come up, and they're these beautiful children who are all brown and sun-fed, and they've been in the water all day. I hope that they'll remember that, and I hope that one of those kids someday says, you know what, that was pretty cool. Maybe I'm gonna break that record. <laughs>